Welcome back. Federal and local authorities are investigating a cut or severed gas line at the home of Congressman Tom Periello's brother. This after a local Tea Party website posted what it believed was the home address of the Democratic congressman from Virginia. Two postings urged opponents of health care reform to drop by and, quote, express their thanks for Periello's yes vote. Well, by yesterday, the congressman's brother smelled gas and found someone had slashed that line connecting a propane tank to his grill. Nigel Coleman is a Tea Party organizer in Danville, Virginia. He was one of the activists who posted the congressman's brother's address on the website. Nigel, thanks for joining me. Uh, hi, Cameron. Uh, let me, I understand your quote was on the internet. Do you mean I posted his brother's address on my Facebook? Oh, well, collateral damage. Uh, yes, that was a mistake for me to say that, but it was something that I said on a blog post that was taken down days before, or at least it was Monday, before any of this, uh, this line-cutting incident had happened. Nigel, do you regret putting that address on the Internet now knowing that someone went to that home where uh, the congressman brother lives with his children and decided to heed words put on the Internet, stop by, pay the visit? Um, I think there's an inference here that we are in a, a violent group, and I, I, I don't think so. Well, I don't think that's an inference there, but words, as the Speaker Pelosi said today, words are powerful. Words mean something. And you might have meant it tongue in cheek or whatever, and you tell me what you meant, but how someone chooses to interpret stop by is it, it, turned into something far more serious now. Actually, we did not mean it uh, as tongue in cheek. We meant stop by and talk about health care. Um, so, you wanted someone to go to that home and talk about health care. They couldn't call the congressman's office. They couldn't take their complaints maybe to a rally. You wanted them to go to someone's home where there are children, where there are children in that home. We had. And we have already done rallies and done, uh, gone to his offices and things like that. We've had meetings with him. And I do understand what is uh, that someone may have taken this the wrong way. And we certainly would apologize if someone has done something like that. Uh, however, it's still early in the investigation. Nobody knows exactly what has happened in this particular situation. Well, let me add, the Florida Tea Party group has issued a statement, and they say the Tea Party movement is a peaceful movement, and we denounce all forms of violence. This includes racial attacks. We do not condone, accept, or encourage such behavior, and fully understand that while no evidence of such behavior has been offered, we believe it is important to condemn it nevertheless. Let me ask you, Nigel, over the weekend, uh, and we have your picture up so people know what you look like, and uh, your ethnicity. How did you feel when you heard that members uh, of possibly some of the Tea Party members were there and they used the N-word and the F-word directed at members of Congress, including Mr. Lewis, who fought for civil rights? Well, I definitely felt that that was not something uh, that uh, played well for the Tea Party. Uh, having looked at videos and things, I don't see that it was the entire crowd. Now, there may have been one or two, you know, bad apples who, who said some things. But, of course, the Tea Party movement does not condone those particular types of attacks, going out there, t calling people names and things like that. Do you denounce that kind of behavior? I would like to hear your strongest language denouncing uh, the N-word, uh, people hurling bricks through offices, violence of any kind. Where do you stand on that? I just want to say unequivocally that I do not, or does the Tea Party, or any member that I know of, support any type of violence, any type of uh, vandalism against the congressmen, their homes, their offices, and these type of things have to stop. Will you right continue now, to publish the home addresses of congressmen and women? Uh, at this time, I, I feel like it's, it's become such an issue and that people are, are so upset at this time. It's just not the, the, the type of so political it was a mistake. where... It was a mistake on your part. Is that what you're saying? It, 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 it probably was. Uh, I didn't recognize the political atmosphere for what it was at the time. What is the, the appropriate way, in your opinion, now that, and I'll say it like this, now that you've seen the light, what is the appropriate way to dissent if you don't agree then? What, what are your measures now? Oh, we're, sti we're still going to keep moving forward right. so and doing the, the things that we've been doing So what is the appropriate way? What is the appropriate way, Nigel? Oh, we're going to be calling the congressman's office. Uh, I, I, I would like at some point to maybe speak with the congressman. Maybe we can just turn the heat down in this situation. There are a lot of people saying a lot of things on both sides, accusing us of things, and I don't want people to uh, take those types of 
accusation seriously. Did you hurt the movement by putting this information on the website and now we've got a severed gas line again, I stress, where there were children not at home at the time, but a man is raising his family in that home. Did you hurt your voice? Did you hurt your movement? Well, I certainly hope it didn't hurt the movement, but uh, if someone did, was, did believe that they were acting on my behalf, uh, they were incorrect. Okay. I, I never told anyone, we never told anyone to harm anyone or to commit any types of vandalism. Well, Nigel, I appreciate you coming on and speaking in your own words about this and uh, defending and even apologizing, saying it was a mistake what happened there. Nigel Coleman, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Nigel. No problem. Absolutely. We'd like to know what you think.